Five minutes? You get a good one? Five minutes? Five minutes? Five minutes?
So if you if you want to become chair, go to all six first. Hey, you're, you're misquoting me, number one. Number two, I'm not trying to become the chair. I'm sitting in in the status that I'm authorized to sit in. Yes, I am. I know I'm not a committee member, but I can I I am as an ex officio is technically a member of each and every committee. Yes, yes, it is. 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 Not true. I'm thinking, yes, it is. In at every point, city council. Forum. At this point, we've lost quorum, and I'd like to indicate that we can't speak on anything that's on the agenda. We're not speaking on the agenda, obviously. We yes, haven't even looked at the agenda. We haven't even called it to order yet. Okay. I'm trying to explain to you then. Then we have to understand what we're doing. Wait a minute. I said, okay. Okay. You guys are already talking about it. I was listening. Listen, you didn't wait for me to get here before you started talking, did you? All I'm doing is listening to you. Anthony, so that's not all you're doing. Yes, I'm doing. I'm describing what's accurate. Anthony. There's nothing in your bylaws that restricts the exit possible status, number one. Number two, historically in every board, in every commission, in every city council, this is how it's done, which is how the neighborhood council is supposed to operate. Through a committee and a committee chair. Yeah. We should, but we just want to make sure that you're being fair. I said your objection can be put on record. I would agree with you. But you got to give him first the opportunity, then you got to give Jenny second the opportunity, and then you got to give Jenny the opportunity. Then you got to give Yolanda third the opportunity, and myself fourth the opportunity. And if we all decline, then we can have a discussion. Okay, so you're saying that you don't want to have a discussion with Jenny and Yolanda and Jenny and Yolanda 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 and you don't come and say, we tell what us to do because then what it is, That's it's not what you do. I just Listen, do that. And if you do this she here, you can do it as parts and recs, you can do it at arts and culture, you can do it in education. And no, you can't. Because you don't run a dictatorship. She it's is allowed democracy. to sit in at each and every meeting. But Correct. Sit in as a stakeholder. Sit in. Yes. Yes. Not as a stakeholder. Yes. You don't have the final authority here at the committee meeting. I'm not saying I have any authority. Exactly. I just want the... Correct. Then go with those present on the agenda first. All I'm going to do is preside over, not not partake in any of the discussion like a committee member would. That's it. Presiding over. What's wrong with going through the process first? You don't even let me finish. Number one, because what what I was going to say is. If Victor, who was named second, Correct. is comfortable, because there was a lot of discussion on the emails about, I'm not comfortable with this, I'm protesting this, I'm protesting that. If he's comfortable with moving forward the agenda, then good. Thank you. Don't let me finish. But you started off saying that it's going to be you. No, I didn't. I said that's what I was here doing. Just like I told you, right? I told you. If you felt comfortable, then you you will take it. Thank well, you, sir. Are you okay with that? Okay, then he's going to go ahead and proceed with the agenda. I'll let Adam just keep you know, around the time. Thank you. If you don't mind me, like, talking. No problem. Thank you. So you, you could go ahead and call how many minutes each of you have to be. Okay. Uh, Is there anything you'd like to talk about? Sure. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, next up on this meeting order. My name is Victor Ayala. I'm the interim director for this committee at this time. Uh, I'd like to say that it's uh, 50 at this time. Can we, can we start? I'd like to open up for public comment. Comments from the public and non-agenda items within the committee. Subject matter jurisdiction. Public comments are within the three minutes for the speaker. Um, I don't see anything you want these or not. You don't have to. You don't have to. I don't think that's uh, that. Is there any public comments at this time? If anybody want to raise their hand right now at this time, so. First of all, I was looking at this, and it's this is that packet that everybody had received. I'm sorry, did you need to do this? I'm sorry, before you start speaking like that. Okay, all right, let me know.
under these bottles. I just want to put that out there. So if there's other changes that are in black ink that somehow were changed from the bylaws that we have on the web page that have been distributed since I think October 2012, if I'm not right, I don't think, um, uh, uh, are questionable there. Any of the language changes the sort of now the statute is, you know, I mean, that's, that's what it was then. So I don't think so. But, and that's, that's kind of confusing to me. I was like, sure, yeah. approved January 26th. So there's no action on this type of um, there were changes, obviously, in Ready, uh, and it says approved, that's not in Ready, so I'm um, not going to use it. Other than that, I would hope that um, um, this committee will be open and uh, consider all opinions in regards going forward with any of the changes that we have to make here. And I think you all have heard from me here in the last week or two in regards to filling vacancies, taking downtown's recommendations, but building vacancies should be, I think, something that we should consider. Um, and then going forward, if, if, if the board should decide that it must go and scale, scale back the board, I, I don't know that that's really helpful. I think the more people you have participating, there's always going to be people quitting, there's always going to be people that uh, can't make the meetings and be removed from the board. Uh, I don't think all the board members were even there at the opening meeting, correct? No. They hung out here for I know this is public comment. By the end they were. Respond, but, pardon? By the end they were. Oh, oh they were. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. But I don't know if that would count as an initial absence. I'm excused. Anyway, because um, there really isn't, a, you, you see all the time you put 10 members of people, but the guys are the same. Well, you know, just add a decision. Okay. Oh, that's fine. You're on the number. You know, I don't think I don't usually don't respond to public comment, but, you know, what you mentioned earlier about the, the uh, bylaws being approved, I did question that to them, and so her response to me was that, you know, since there was a change in the uh, fiscal basis as far as stakeholdership, uh, the city changed the, uh, I guess, the stakeholdership uh, initiative. Changed it about maybe a couple of months ago. So, what they're explaining to me, which I didn't agree, is she's saying that since Dunn uh, changed the whole fiscal basis, stakeholdership prison, all neighborhood councils have to change their by bylaws. Now, that has nothing to do with saying that the ours were approved, and this is what I told them. Well, I want to see the minutes when the neighborhood council approved these minutes since you're saying they were approved on this date. I like to see the approved minutes when the board approved them. And her, her answer to me was that, you know what, all, all neighborhood councils had to change their neighborhood their bylaws to adjust to the fiscal basis that's taking the shit. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's just like you, I, I didn't agree with it. And I told her, can you, that I need to know more about this. I, I don't understand all neighborhood councils. So I'm, I'm still in contact with her to get a, a direct uh, answer as far as there's no minutes saying that our uh, board approved them. Then why are you saying they're approved? So I questioned it also. I just wanted to respond to you. I don't know about the fiscal thing. I know there was some changes in, in the city and everybody's read about it in regards to uh, community stakeholder. Right, right, right. Some right. language change there. It didn't seem like it did a lot other than you know, scramble some words around, but it all seemed to me to kind of make the same thing. But, no. Okay, thank you. Okay, go ahead. So, anyone else want to comment? Public comment? Public comment? Okay, so let's go to uh, what happened? Public comment is item number three. I'd like to ask the chair that we still review item number two. Presentations? Uh, Correct, after the call of order. Okay, number two. Uh, okay, uh, can we stand up and please stand up? Sure. We'll be using the flag over here by the front office of the library. Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Okay, I'm going to report a discussion of suggested amendments by Donna Joy, Commissioner of Bylaws. 
uh, my understanding is that everything in red uh, is your recommendations to this are our legal counsel. First thing, yeah, sure, I'd like to hear uh, public comment first, uh, their uh, comments regarding this suggestion. And uh, then we can go ahead and So uh, I'd like to thank the community stakeholders here uh, to have comments uh, regarding the uh, amendments suggested by Gunn. Do you get a chance to review it? Anyone have a chance yeah, to review it? I have, and uh, I don't know, Forty, it's on the first and come around uh, last way here. Uh, my comments, I think, are already known, and I'd like to add my comments as part of the record from uh, an email I sent out earlier today with regards to the vacancy template. Uh, that's the only thing I think I spoke to. Okay. But I think it's imperative that uh, stakeholders and the members of the board Wait for the major changes in July that say that and not so much with uh, you know, the place here with Howard LA is suggesting that you could be an autonomous body and you know, well, work with them and you know, let's hopefully that they can stay here. Keep it open. Uh, as I mentioned, these are only suggestions that that uh, done the same to us. We don't have to, you know, answer with these into our bylaws. They're just suggestions, but I need to. As far as chair here, the committee's at the first report. Yeah. So I'm um, just going to hear what you want to. First of all, I want to say, um, just to expedite your time, let's just really focus on what we want. And, and who's ever directing the meeting, just don't give us a comment, we'll give you a stakeholder comment, just keep it to yourself because we'll take it to personal somebody who will get it under your favor and your site and the rest of the public will say, oh, well, that board member thinks like that or that board member thinks like that. Um, as far as the bylaws, you know, let's just keep in mind it's for the stakeholders. It's not about it has to be like this. If you can make it happen with the less number or the same number, you know, let's, let's really look at the history of the 21, how much was accomplished, and why not give it an opportunity with a lesser number? It might even be better, it might not, but that's something that's in, in your hands as a committee to put together something to the So we ask that you guys really just to expedite, focus on it, and and not use Robert's rules as an attacking tool. Use it as a, something that is useful to us, to the board, to you guys. You know. um, I'm open, I'm flexible to whichever 21 or less. But just to really, really look at what it can say. Can I do it in one minute and 25 seconds? Mm -hmm. so, <laughs>